Hey guys, Logicus here with the Achievement Guide for Hogwarts Legacy. This one is called Going Through the Portions. This involves creating all six portions within Hogwarts Legacy. The six portions in question are Wiganweld, Ejurus, Maxima, Invisibility, Focus and Thunderbrew. Two of the portion recipes will be given to you for free during Professor Sharp's portion class. This is the Wiganweld and Endurus. The remaining four recipes will need to be purchased from J. Pippin's Potion Shop in Hogsmeade. It's going to set you back 3,700 coins to buy all four. As well as the potion recipes, Pippin also sells some of the reagents required for the potions. So if you're running short or unable to find them in the overworld, you can pop back to Pippin's Potion Shop and buy some of the reagents for a fee. Along with the reagents, four plants will be required, a Ditney, not grass, flux weed and a shrivel fig. These can be planted in your room of requirement or if you're feeling lazy you can head over to the magic neep and buy the plants and stems for a fee. Once you've gathered enough reagents for all six portions it's just a case of brewing each one individually on your potting station. The achievement only seems to track when you retrieve the portion from the potting station so once you've picked up that sixth and final portion, you should get the achievement. For anybody feeling thrifty, the second half of this achievement guide is going to show you where to find some of the reagents and who they drop from. This in the long run should save you around a thousand gold if you're not buying all the reagents yourself. First of all, we're going to head over to the Forbidden Forest Flu Flame and then we're going to grab ourselves some lacewing flies which are located in these three bushes here. This should be more than enough and then directly next to the lace wings you'll find some leeches and once you pick them up from the riverbank you'll get some leech juice. And then from here we're going to head directly east towards Hogsmeade. I'm just going to jump on my broomstick for ease and then halfway towards Hogsmeade we're just going to spot a couple of mongrels on the left here just amongst the rocks. So approaching them now here on the left. So they're in this little valley. Once you've taken these guys out, they should drop mongrel fur. We only need one for the portion, but in this case, we're going to get three. Just after I take the third guy out here, I'm going to pop the map open just to show you where we are on the map. So these mongrels are located roughly here, just west of Hogsmeade in this little valley. Just behind these mongrels, there is also some Ashwinder eggs on this cliffside. You can see them by their bright red or orange tinge on the eggs. You can spot them a mile away. Pick those up and we only need one of those for the portion. From the Ashwinder eggs, we're then going to jump back on our broom. Do a 180 from here and we're going to head towards the Forbidden Forest. In this case, we're looking for a spider den or cave. They're identified on the mini map by their spider web symbol, usually in a triangle shape. Rebellious. There's one dead ahead. In here, we're going to kill the spiders. And of course, these guys drop the spider fangs that we need for a couple of portions. So once you've eliminated all these guys, just loot their bodies and you should be able to get the spider fangs from them. Also in this cave area here, we'll also get the hawk lump juice. Hawk lumps tend to like cave or shaded areas. These are kind of the spiky mushrooms. Pick these guys up because we'll also need these for the portions. I'm now going to fire open the map and just show you where in the forbidden forest the spider cave is, as well as these hawk lumps. As you can see, it's just above this east northern flu flame. Moving on now, we're going to find some dug bogs. These are the toad like creatures with the long tongues. These can usually be found rivers and lakes. So we're just going to have a spin around the Hogwarts lake. And lo and behold, we find a red triangle here in the corner. All we need to do is kill this big guy and he should drop a tongue. We're only going to need one tongue for the portion, so one is enough. Now that the Doug Bog is dead, we can head over and loot his corpse, which we should find a tongue. 
loot that and then I'm going to open the map just to show you roughly where I found the dug bog it's just on the east side of the lake here so if you just fly down that side you should find the fella for the last couple of reagents we're going to fly deep into the forbidden forest so this is quite far north just behind the mountain if you hug the mountainside, you should come across this broken or damaged house, which is full of undead, called the Inferius. Once we've killed these guys, they should drop the stench of dead. There is a couple around this house that you can farm, and it's roughly located on this part of the map here, just on the north side of the mountain. Kill these two guys around the building and you should get two drops for the stench of dead. We only need one for the potion but we quite happily take two. These undead guys will also crop up in the dark arts arenas which you can loot them from there as well. They always seem to spawn around cave entrances and you may need to change it to night time for them to spawn. I've picked this location because just to the east here there is also some leaping toadstool caps. Should be two sets of these guys, one's a little further down the hill. Again we only need one of these for the portion but we will take two anyway. Once you've picked those up what we're going to do is head a little further north into the forbidden forest. What we're looking for next is a troll bogey which of course drops from the mountain trolls. Just have a fly around the encampments just to see if you can spot a troll. Obviously just head over to anything that has a red triangle and hopefully it is a troll like so. So these dark wizards are fighting the troll. So they're going to give us a little hand. We're going to clear all them out but this is roughly where I found the troll on the map. There will be others scattered around this region so just keep an eye out for those. Then all we need to do is of course kill the forest troll and as he dies he should drop some troll bogies. That in a nutshell is all the reagents you will need for the portions. If you found any better farming locations please drop them in the comments below. If you like this guide as always please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.